How Puss and Boots and Dev took turns retiring each other. If y'all ain't seen this movie, y'all gotta check it out. So my son Puss and Boots is just trying to enjoy his milk after getting some bad news from the doctor earlier. Bro is stressed, he just found out he caught that Itachi Uchiha disease. I told bro to stop fucking with that dirty cat from across the street, she's for the litter. His drinking gets interrupted though, by death himself. Yo, that theme, that whistle bro, that whistle had me tweaking out. I was actually pretty afraid in the movie theater, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all hear that? I'm sitting here thinking, bro, when did he get there? How did he just spawn in out of nowhere? I know okay. Puss started adjusting his mic volume because he ain't hearing no footsteps, had no idea the <laughs> flank was coming. Well, well, can't believe I get to meet the Puss in Boots. You're even cuter in person. <laughs> Puss looking at bro like, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? <laughs> Look at his face. He's sick, and I get it. All these seats and you choosing to sit up right next to me? There's the famous hat. Love the feather. And of course, those Balenciaga boots. You got that shit on. <laughs> so at this point, my son Puss is thinking hey, to him. Bro, I love, I love when people explain the, the movies, bro. It just sounds so funny. Like, <laughs> you got the Balenciaga boots. Okay, you got that shit on. <laughs> It's like, bro, shut up, bro. But it's funny at the same time. I love it, though. I love it. You got that shit on. So at this point, my son Puss is thinking to himself, yo, this nigga is a dick rider. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> but can you back up, gang? And scoots over because bro's breath is hot as shit finna melt his whiskers off. So then he proceeds <laughs> to ask Puss in Boots for an autograph. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, bro, is dick, dick riding all you do? do? But really, Death was just letting his nuts hang because this wasn't actually mm. some groupie shit. He was threatening bro the whole time. I was scared when he said dead. <laughs> Puss not taking him serious though. This the big bad wolf. Niggas ops is three little piggies. We not worried about bro. You should try and kill your barber instead. I know you got ground beef for hair. Take the hood off. All right, fine, here. Oh, nah, his shit is crisp. Fade on a hundred, puss don't stand a chance. So now Gato is low-key getting tight because why is niggas playing with him like he's pussy or something? Listen, I don't care if you got- Y'all get it? Like he's pussy or something? Cause he's a, he's a cat? He's a pussy cat? Y'all didn't get that one. I had to explain it for y'all. Listen, I don't care if you got that Steph Curry light skin ass haircut or not. I keep that thing on me, Jord. Look at Death's <laughs> evil ass smile, bro. Puss in Boots Intimidator badge is clearly not on Hall of Fame or even gold. That shit is on <laughs> aluminum foil because it ain't do shit. Anyways, put that toothpick away, gang. There's two <laughs> options in this scenario. We can do this the easy way, or we, or we can do, do this the hard, hard way. way. The choice the is yours. Is yeah. Puss in Boots is tired of the talking, and now he ready just to settle this as men. Puss in okay. Boots doing this for everyone back at home. He trying to put Far Far away on the map. But bro okay. is in disbelief. He smacked that oh. sword away so fast, I didn't even see what happened. Got him backpedaling, <laughs> refusing to take his eyes off of him. Grabs the sword and calls Iso. He ready this time. Got his tryhard stance out and everything. So I'm thinking, okay, he bought a clam shit. Shorts rolled up. He in his tryhard pose is wraps. Starts charging towards him, and that's a weave straight into the light skin stare. Oh yeah, death not playing fair today. Puss in Boots' heart just sank to his asshole. I already know it. You know how in every show or movie, there's always that one character who does something that lets you know, oh yeah, his opponent stands no chance. Yeah. Like when I saw Killer B. Killer B versus Sasuke or Killer B versus anybody. When I seen Killer B fuck up Sasuke, I was like, yep, GG's. This nigga's kind of crazy. Like when I saw Killer B rapping mid fight, I knew right there the Uchiha last name was coming to a screaming halt tonight. <laughs> or when we saw Trunks appear for the first time and he did the Justin Bieber hair flip on these niggas. Oh yeah, Frieza's minions better get to collecting those Dragon Balls real soon. It's up. So when I saw this man this death this take serious? a sip of his drink mid fight, I was like, oh, okay, fuck a dog. He got that wolf in him. Puss and Boots starts Shut attacking up. him again, and bro's just dodging every single weave, attack weave, while weave. talking shit too. Lame ass nigga. Weaving these attacks like future with child support money. Whips out his weapons, and look how clean this frame is. Straight evil in his eyes. He's up to no good. Pushes my son off the counter and starts emoting his weapons on him and everything. You already know he finna put this one on the gram. Just folded this nigga Puss and Boots. His boots not even real. I saw the. <laughs> Bro, hey, y'all gotta give him credit. He kind of funny, y'all. I fuck with this video. This video type nice. Hold of this nigga Puss in Boots. His boots not even real. I saw the Jordan logo doing a cartwheel. But Puss draws up a genius plan. He sprinted directly at death the first time, and it didn't work. So he mm -hmm. decided, you know what? Hmm, that shit didn't work. 
Let me try it again. Stupid ass. Jumping onto a chandelier, spinning over like Patrick the Star, and yeah, What's that did <laughs> not work. That was a terrible Why did he do all that? Guys. Got his hand around his throat and starts whispering to him on some kinky shit. Aren't you a hero? All I could smell is bitch in here. Damn. He uses his face as a sponge to clean the counter and chucks bro into a chair. And at this point, I'm just thinking to myself, damn. Puss is really getting fucked up. Got me not even wanting to believe it for real. Got me trying to rationalize it like, nah. Death just caught him lacking, tweaking off the sauce. My son a little drunk right now. He gonna sober up soon though. All Puss can really do at this point is just try to avoid getting ripped apart. But Death is really on him OD. And then it happens. Going. Death lands a hit. Knocks off Gato's hat, which is already a violation. Fucking mm -hmm. with the drip is a no-no. And mm -hmm. gave my son a lineup that he really ain't asked for. And can we give a round of applause for the animators real quick? They Look at crazy. how they conveyed the horror that Puss is feeling in this moment. Bro. I'm a dog person and even I feel terrible for bro. Shrek, Facts. Donkey, Gingerbread Man, somebody come help him, please. <laughs> I love is that fear I smell? Is that fear? This is the first time Puss ever had his his blood drawn. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never go to the doctor. He gingerbread man, somebody come help him, please. <laughs> I love the smell of bitch ass niggas. But then I thought the tides were about to change. Puss starts catching flashbacks of his life all up until this point. And mm -mm. I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, movies only do this when the character is about to get in their bag. It's over for death. Death kicks the sword next to Puss and starts telling him to pick it up. No famous decks. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, bro. Baby girl, watch how you move. <laughs> Listen, I know Puss and Boots got knocked down, but he gonna get back up and run the fade again, right? Wrong. Mm. My son hit the dash and skedaddled to the bathroom with an insane quickness. The writers definitely subverted my expectations. I thought bro was about to go super saiyan. I was sitting there thinking this was his krillin getting popped like a pinata causing Goku's rage moment, but no. And at this point, I'm thinking, I right, Puss gonna have to start writing out some notes for Donkey to add to the eulogy real soon. <laughs> Puss was a brave cat. He wanted me to tell y'all that you should have seen it. It was like 17 niggas and he stood two paws, 10 toes down. Never tried to run once. <laughs> Death gotta opens watch the movie. door and sees that puss got away. He managed to escape out the back through the sewage. Death gave this man a whooping so life-changing he decided to switch career paths. Turned him into a track star, sent him out of town. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> A few moments later. So Death got chased down artists on Hall of Fame, managing to hunt Puss and Boots down, and ain't no running away this time. And this is Hold how on. you really know that he's sick in the head. Because Hold on, he didn't a lot happened. A lot happened. Uh Puss and Puss, whatever his name is, Puss and Boots became a house cat after that and like retired and got fat. He was in a house with a bunch of cats and he was owned by a cat lady. And yeah, he became a bitch, he became a pussy. He was he was not Puss and Boots no more. He was just puss. See. Why are you spinning the block? You won! Everybody else confused as hell, looking around, talking about some who's that, but Puss already knows that's the sound of an ass whooping coming his way. And now Death is using mental tactics, trying to get in bro's head. For context, this thing that Puss is holding in his hand is a wish. You really gonna be a bitch and use that paper to wish for more lives? Or are you gonna fight? Dog, wolf, tiger, rhinoceros, it don't matter. Me personally, I'm not letting somebody come out here and show me up like this. Throws the sword at his feet and starts I'm telling wishing. him to pick it up again. But my I'm son wishing. Puss and Boots knows that the hose is out here this time. He gotta lock in. Not just that, but one of the bros out here too. If I get my shit folded, this going in the group chat for sure. I can't let that happen. <laughs> Puss starts having flashbacks of him and his homie and his girlfriend all chilling together and decides, you know what? I need my run back. I can't go outside back to back or else my street credit is toast. They start charging towards each other showing off their 50 inch verticals clashing in mid-air to kick it off and i'm gonna have to slow some of this down for y'all because if not it's gonna be like the fact that stevie wonder was courtside at an nba game it's pointless you what? can't see anything that's happening oh my god why did he say that why did he say that <laughs> uh, why he... wait why did stevie wonder go to an nba game <laughs> He got better luck going to a concert. This nigga went to an NBA game? Bro, stop it. Stop it, bro. Stop it. <laughs> this nigga was explaining that game to him, though. <laughs>
pointless you can't see anything that's happening puss goes to stab his dick and is blocked jumps over the slash attack and then does a block himself and as he's turned around he hits death with that no look block from behind the way they're fighting right now you wouldn't think that these niggas started beefing yesterday this looked like a 40 year old feud built up or something well i guess for death it kind of was he was sitting there watching puss and boots waste away all eight of his lives like it's nothing raging they're just taking turns fighting and weaving each other's attacks got the crowd in disbelief until puss decides you know what it's time to hit l2 and r2 and activate his ultimate <laughs> but it's gonna take a lot more than that death's bag is deep there's mm -hmm. a reason he's the guy hired to send everybody to the gulag bro starts flexing doing all type of theatrics combining his two weapons oh, and look at puss and boo's face bro but this new staff must have given him an attribute boost because he started cooking up like crazy charges towards him and he has bro playing the greatest defense of his life then starts fucking with the drip again which mm -hmm. is old D, son dog how you gonna be my ass and then also force me to order a new fit off amazon pick a violation jumps up in the air lands cutting the cape <laughs> fucks up his jays and Damn. knocks his hat clean off Damn. his head and then bops him in the chest knocking the wind out of him for sure making him barrel roll backwards so now it's gotta be ggs right started walking out the theater thinking to myself damn who they about to replace puss in boots with in shrek 5 but death is in his 2016 <laughs> warriors bag because he about to blow a 3-1 lead starts walking down on okay. puss in boots and delivers an attack that's supposed to take bro's head clean off but last minute on some shot clock cheese puss in boots whips out this baby ass butter knife and is able to block the attack and of course picks up his hat in the process that's a must homie and get a fresh cut in weeks you what don't have to that? expose gang like that dodging another slash oh. Not yeah. making him to get his sword back to put an mm. end to these shenanigans. Kitty is watching with straight hard eyes and puss already knows, oh yeah, I'm finna go home to the silliest head. She finna have me hitting the Jordan logo tonight. And then this is when Gato decides to just go on the offensive crazy. He clearly sat up in his chair or decided to give the controller to his big brother because this is a whole new okay. man. Continues to dodge and weave a bunch of attacks until he's able to cut Death's staff in half. Look yeah. at his face. In all his years <laughs> of controlling the census, nobody has been able to do this to him before. For. Puss then starts charging towards him to finish off the job, which Death is able to block. But peep this frame, this is an exact callback to the first fight in the movie, mm -hmm. but this time the roles are reversed. Yeah. Death then decides to throw Puss in the sky, but that was the worst mistake he could have made. Low IQ play from him. Because Puss and Boots saw that contract that the Saudi Arabian team offered Mbappe, he trying to get signed real soon. He lands and kicks the shit out of Death in the forehead, knocking him back 20 feet, rolling on the ground. But you already know he had to add a cherry on top, give Death a taste of of his own medicine pick it up pick it up but death gets up and he looks at gato and he's like you know what i low-key fuck with you gang i'ma let you live go ahead and enjoy your life with your family but i'll be back 